saturation to dull paints. Cure an old brush. Redraw a picture and collect glitter. Today, we have some ideas for arts and crafts that will make your creative process easier and more interesting. Meet His Royal Highness, Glitter! He will easily transform ordinary objects and create the atmosphere of a magical party and also add shine to everything that it touches. And your desk is no exception. If you've ever tried to clean up glitter, you know that this task is not for the faint-hearted. But today, a lint roller will help. Roll it on the glitter. The glitter sticks to the paper and the desk says goodbye to the title of Madam Shiny. It's so clean! And the roller looks much more elegant in a sparkly suit. Here's an idea for watercolor paints. If the paints look too pale and dull on paper, we know what will give them brightness and color. Take a glass of water and sugar. Add two spoons of sugar to the water. Mix. Moisten the brush in the sugary water and collect the paint. Paint the outline of the drawing. Due to the sugar syrup, the color of the paint gains saturation. Look how bright this watermelon is! Decided to try calligraphy? Make sure you do not stain the table with ink. Look! There's already a blue spot under the jar. Our next life hack will save your table. Take a foam sponge. Trace the jar on it. Cut it along the outline. Place the ink jar in the round hole. This soft stand will absorb ink droplets and stabilize the jar. So you don't need to worry, you can't accidentally knock it off the table. Actually, calligraphy is very relaxing. And now let's share an idea for sewing. Take a felt square and heart. Thread a needle. Sew the square to the heart. Use a blanket stitch. But the stitches are uneven and the craft does not look very neat. We'll tell you what to do. Fold your fingers like this. Draw markings at equal distances from each other. Sew the heart following the marks on your finger. This way you will maintain the distance between the stitches and the seam will look smooth and beautiful. And no crooked stitches will ruin your creative masterpiece. Need to draw a black and white picture? Just draw it already. What's the issue? Hmm. My picture of a husky looks more like a tired gopher. That's no good. You need a piece of paper and a phone flashlight. Take two thick books. Set a frame with glasses between them. Place the drawing you'd like to copy. Cover the top with a clean sheet of paper. Turn on the flashlight and put the phone under the glass. The details of the picture shine through and can be easily traced. You can leave the picture colorless, but we decided to paint the dog with watercolors. Next, you will need a flat disposable plate and bottle caps. Hot glue the caps to the plate. Cut off a piece of foam rubber. Fasten it near the caps. Cut out an oval shape. The hole should be big enough that your finger can easily go through it. Fill the cap with paints. So we just made a palette for paints from scratch. Collect the paint from cells and mix the colors on a paper plate. Get some amazing shades. Dry the brush with a foam sponge. This palette is perfect for all types of paint. Try it and see! But the main tool of every artist is, of course, the brush. And improper storage quickly leads to despair. You will need plastic drinking straws of different diameters. Cut them into pieces. To make the bristles have the right shape, moisten the brush with water. Gently fit a straw on it. Choose plastic cases for the whole brush set. 
Now your favorite brushes will last much longer. Oh! And this brush has such a shaggy hairstyle. It needs to get a new one. To paint with a fluffed brush like this is simply unrealistic. Everything ends up looking muddy. Pour boiling water in a small plate. Leave the brush in it for 15 minutes. Remove the excess water with a paper towel. Tightly wrap the brush with a napkin and leave it for another 15 minutes. Remove the paper case. What a transformation! The old brush turned beautiful and perfect again. Try to paint with it. That's much better. The hot bath obviously helped it recharge. And now you need a glass and a pair of plastic dinosaurs. Hot glue to fasten the dinosaurs to the glass. Arrange them so that they face each other. The result is an original stand for a hot glue gun. And the glue from the spout drips onto the glass and doesn't stain your furniture. No matter what you do, if you like drawing with a pencil, sooner or later your hands will be dirty. And your drawings will be ruined by dirty spots. To prevent this from happening, use notebook paper. While drawing, put a sheet under your hand. Both your hands and your drawing will stay clean. Yes, without stains, this seagull looks much prettier. A little patience and fantasy, and soon you will finish this pink scarf. Just don't even think about leaving the needles with the unfinished work somewhere. Oh! The loop slid off and it will be hard to return them. Should I start over? Here's an idea. Use wine corks as stoppers. Put the corks on the needles. And now no loops can escape. And now we'll tell you how to easily redraw this funny little fox. Turn the paper over and shade it with a pencil. Secure the drawing on a clean piece of paper using masking tape. Go over the outline of the figure with a pen. It is better to use one that's out of ink. Done! Remove the fox. There is a clear outline of the drawing on the paper. Just go over it with a pen and color it. It's like a DIY photocopy. And now take two markers and a small silicone rubber band. Attach the markers together with the rubber band. Use the tool when creating a pattern. Draw along the lines of the sketch of the product you're going to make. You get two lines on the fabric. One marks the size of the part, and the second marks the seam allowance. And the size of the allowance can be adjusted using the distance between the markers. Cut the pattern following the outermost line. Fold the edge. Sew and decorate the skirt with rhinestones. Elegant new clothes for your favorite doll are good to go. Are your pencils almost done? Drawing with such tiny pencils isn't easy. They always slip out of your hand. You'll need drinking straws. Insert the pencils into the straws. Secure them with tape. Trim the ends. This simple technique will allow you to use even the smallest pencils. Scrapbooking is always fun. But your scissors won't cut paper at all if they have tape attached to them. Okay, apparently it is time for them to take a bath. You need cotton pads and vegetable oil. Wet the pad with oil and wipe the blades. Wipe them until they are dry. Now you can look in the blades like in a mirror. Clean scissors cut smoothly and don't crumple the paper. Do you like to make friendship bracelets? Then you probably know how difficult it is to collect beads from the table. Small beads scatter to the sides and keep trying to escape. You'll need a matchbox. Cover the pile of beads with an open matchbox. Without taking the box from the table, push in the inner drawer. And then just pour the beads in a bag. And you can store the matchbox with the beads in your sewing organizer. We love to draw with watercolor pencils. Our masterpiece is ready. 
which means it's time to take care of wet brushes. Let's make a dryer that will quickly put them in order. You need a decorative bucket and a spiral from a notebook. Put the spiral on the handle from the bucket. Insert the brush into the metal spring cells. Place them with their bristles down. You can use the bucket as a dryer or instead of a brush holder during the creative process. Did you like our creative ideas? Write in the comments which of these do you find most useful. Give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell to be the very first to see new ideas for creativity and arts and crafts from Troom Troom Select.